Today I am going to talk about a PDF viewer. A PDF file is a portable document format. A portable document format file, also known as the PDF file, is a document that is compatible across all formats, whether it's a Macintosh, a Windows machine, a Linux machine, a Unix machine, or any other operating system. You can have application programs such as MS Word that you're typing up a document and when you save the document you can save it as a PDF file format so that you can send it to someone across the internet or you can put it on thumb drive or however and give it to that person and they can open it up even if they don't have the Microsoft Office or Word program on the machine. It's a standard format and it will look exactly as that person typed it up. And If you are coming from Microsoft Windows you are familiar with using a program called Adobe Acrobat Reader. Now in the Ubuntu Mate, the default program is called the Atrial Document Viewer. And if you've never used it before, you go to the Applications menu, scroll down to where it says Office, and the Atrial Document Viewer is in alphabetical order, depending upon how you have your system set up. Mine is at the top. I click on it and it loads the program. I'm going to maximize it so you can see it full screen. Now with my theme on my computer, it's a dark theme so I apologize if you have a harder time seeing some of the letters or words, but you can see we have the menus across the top. We have our file menu, we have the edit menu, the view menu, the go menu, the bookmarks, and the help. Some of them has grayed out because I don't actually have a, a PDF file loaded at the moment. We have a previous and next, which you have to have multi-pages to preview those, and I don't have anything open at the moment. To open a PDF file, you go to File, choose Open, and in my Documents folder, I have a few examples of PDF files. These are some that I, when I taught sixth grade science, some of the documents that I created, and one of them is an example that came from the North Carolina Standard Course of Study, or the North Carolina Department of Instructions, released to teachers so that they can use these examples for their students to practice for the end of grade test or the final exam. One of them that I will open is a vocabulary that I created for my students. If I hit open, as you can see I can scroll down. I actually created this uh, vocabulary in Microsoft Word. As you can see I can scroll up and down. I can't really edit it. It's only a viewer. So the the Atrial Document Viewer, as the last name implies, it's only a viewer. Later I will show you how to open up a PDF and edit it within another program that we can install on Ubuntu Mate. But for the sake of looking at the default program, we're only looking at the Atrial Document Viewer. Another way of opening the file, I will close it, is you can go to the folder just like you can in Windows. I'm going to go to my Documents folder and I will click on let's say earth plates and boundaries this is also a vocabulary that I created for my students let's go to the file menu notice that some of the features that were grayed out especially like in bookmarks uh, for my go I don't it's just one page if I was multiple pages those would be lit up but in my file I can go down to properties and I can see that I'm the author I created it in Microsoft Word 2010 and in October the on the Thursday, October the 1st, 2015, I created this document at 634 in the morning. I did it before I went to school. So you can get some history behind the PDF file. You can save it, copy to another folder. You can, as we already hit the open copy, you, you, you can select all the text. You can rotate the text left. You can rotate the text right. You can go into view and full scan presentation if you have multiple pages where you can press the arrow key. If you're putting an on overhead projector like a PowerPoint presentation, we don't have multiple pages, but you can zoom in. You can also zoom out. You can choose for the view the best to fit, fit page width. As you can see, width means how wide it is. It fit across it from the width of it. Now we have our little thumbnail viewer that you can view thumbnails, annotations, and bookmarks. Now, I'm in my thumbnail view, and I really don't have a thumbnail over here. I don't have a multiple page document open. Let's go to a multiple page document. 
Here's one that I've downloaded from the Ubuntu Mate's website. It's their documentation. As you can see, there are thumbnails on the side because it's multiple pages, not just one page long. Now I'm using my scroll bar, scroll button on my mouse before I can scroll down. I can also drag over here on the right hand side. I can drag as well. Or I can read over here and click on that to go to that particular page. So there's multiple ways that I can navigate through this particular viewer. Now one thing I think is unique about this viewer is instead of using the bookmarks feature I found out that if I just close the document and remember where I'm at I can scroll down I am on page or I'm on the one where it says entertainment so when I close it now remember we were the Ubuntu Mate user's guide so let's say I open Soul and I scroll down and read this one and I want to go back to my guide it continues where I left off so if you're wanting someone else to use this document on this computer and you want them to start from the beginning, you simply scroll back up to the top and then you close it. Now one of the things I like about the Atrio Document Viewer is you can modify your toolbar to your liking. You can customize it. You can do that by choosing Edit, Toolbar. You can drag the buttons from the toolbar editor and place it on the toolbar. For example, I'm so used to saving a copy of my document by going over here to the far left hand side so I can drag that here and as you notice it changes to a save button so that if I wanted to save this document I'd hit the save button a dialog box appears I can change folders I can change the name of it but since I've already got it on my computer instead of saving it I'm going to cancel it now that's one way that you can edit the toolbar is by edit toolbar now another way is you can right click on the toolbar select the toolbar and you can add additional buttons like I can go to previous page, the next page. If I want to go from the beginning of the page or the beginning of the document and the end of the document, I've got first page that I can include on here. Then I've got like the last page that I can also include on here. Now let me navigate. I can go to the last page of the document now, the very last page, or I can go back up to the first page of the document. As you remember a while ago when I closed it down, if I was in the middle of the document, and I close it down. If I wanted to scroll back up to the top, that's a lot of scrolling. I can just simply hit this button, close it, and it will be about the beginning of the document. So when the next person opens it, I can add some more features to it. I can say to the, here's our, where we can change, just like we did to the view, we can change the width, we can go change the percentage. If you have a hard time seeing it, you can increase the font size or the size on it. Sometimes this becomes hard to read or you don't realize that things are off to the side and you have to scroll. So when you get very large percentage, it's sometimes very difficult to see. I usually write to keep it something more or more I can scroll where I can see it around 100%. You also have other features at the very top, best to fit, which fits the entire page. You also have fit page width, which I showed you earlier. If you're just looking at the individual pages, the page to fit is very good at looking at the whole page. Sometimes if you're having a if you're reading it, it can be very difficult to read that. Let's finish modifying the toolbar before I end this video. Let's say that you're someone that likes to search for a word within your document. I can put the find here. Now, when I close it out, if I want to look and find a, a word, I can type the word in down here in the lower left hand side. Let's say I'm looking for the program the Atro for the Atro document viewer. Notice it, it's already found it in my text. It highlights it. So I can close the the search feature. Or actually it's gonna find four objects. I, I can say find next, find next, and find next. And it showed you within the documents where the four locations are. So if you would like to open up a Word document instead of reading a 200 page, if you have 200 pages, this is only 39. You can hit the search feature type in what you're looking for and it will find it for you. So that's a nice feature within a, a document viewer, PDF viewer. Other features that you can add, you can add the back button, not just going to the previous, you can add back button, you can put auto scroll, so if you click it, it will scroll by itself. You can put a continuous view, I'm not going to load it up with buttons, if you like to print, and that's something I do from time to time. I'll put my print button beside of the save button. So if I'm wanting to print out a page, I can hit the print button, choose the page, or the whole document. I can open. These are features that I use a lot like in the upper left-hand side. So instead of going through a menu, I can click onto an icon. 
I like it, usually I like zoom features, so I can say to zoom in, and I can zoom out. You can even make it full screen or add some other features, but these are just the common ones that I like to use when I'm viewing a PDF file that I've downloaded off the internet. So I, again, I can go down to the next page or I can go to the previous page. I can navigate it by using the buttons. I can go to the end of the document. I can go to the beginning of the document. If I want to zoom in instead of going best to fit, I can use this little magnifying glass. I can zoom in. If I want to zoom out, I can use the magnify glass to zoom out. So I've added, made my PDF viewer, which is my Atrio document viewer, by modifying my toolbar, I've increased the power of it. You can go to, the thing I like about most Ubuntu Mate software is when you go to the help button, you choose about, it shows you the information, it shows your credits, license, but the, the most important thing I like is the contents. When you bring it up, if you don't understand something, it'll take you to the introduction, getting started, how to use it, and the shortcut keys. So if you're a person that likes using shortcut keys, you go and look at that, and it will tell you the shortcut keys for doing the same thing you can do through the menu are the icons. You can go back, it choose the introduction, it gives a brief description of what the program is, getting started on how to use it. And this is not just with the HRO document viewer. Most of the software downloaded and installed automatically by default in Ubuntu Mate, most software has a help and a contents feature that will help you through understanding and how to use the software. So this right here was a short video on a portable document file viewer and the default within Ubuntu Mate is the Atrial document viewer. So I hope this helped you understand if you're coming from Microsoft Windows that there are compatible programs that you're familiar with and used to in the Windows environment.